it is strongly believed even today that a full moon can stimulate emotions produce strange conduct and also cause physical illness but is there a link between human and lunar cycles in today's video we will witness that howdy howdy earthlings welcome to the viable channel where the english is bad but the science is good the maid emilia says in shakespeare's othello that the moon is too close to earth and that it is driving mankind crazy the possibility that living things could be affected by the moon's cycles isn't entirely groundless the ocean's tides rise and fall in time with the moon's phases and several marine species including reef coral sea dwelling worms and some fish have reproductive cycles that are roughly time to lunar cycles so let us check out the scientific findings on lunar cycles versus human behavior Much research has been carried out that disputes the results and no relationship between the full moon and the sleep pattern alterations have been identified. In those investigations, the direct link between moon cycles and sleep habits was shown to be non-existent. Scientists assessed the impact of shifting moon cycles on cardiovascular systems in a 2013 study conducted on male students at universities. During the full moon and full moon phases, blood pressure fell by around 5 mm of mercury. A 2020 research of male athletes who did not show significant athletic performance differences in various moon cycles. There is no clear link between cardiovascular and lunar cycles. Eons of exposure to brightness and darkness have modified the human body. This has led to the growth of circadian rhythms which impact numerous systems in your body and not only the cycle of the sleep. Circadian rhythms also impact your mental and physical wellness. So, are full moons truly linked to mood and mental health changes? A 2006 review of more than 10,000 medical records from several institutions revealed the same thing. No full moon connection between the number of hospital visits with mental or mood disorders. During decades, maybe centuries, people continue to believe that during full moon periods there were more attacks, traumas and suicides. Many scientists studied data, carried out their own investigations. and concluded that a full moon does not alter human behavior this myth is just a waning belief in fact two studies found out that during a full moon incidence of homicide and trauma dropped slightly menses and moon both come from the latin word for month as the two cycles are almost exactly the same length lunar cycle lasts 29.5 days and the global average menstrual cycle lasts 29 days research actually hasn't found any connection recently scientists used the period tracking app clue to analyze data from 15 million users and they found no correlation between 7.5 million cycles and the lunar cycle why are the two cycles so similar well it's just a coincidence fun fact our closest primate relative chimpanzee's menstrual cycle is a whopping 37 days so in the end the similarity might just be a coincidence Scientists monitored data from a monitoring unit for epilepsy. They examined over 700 seizures of different kinds and found no significant connection around the full moon. But scientists found something surprising when they just looked at the epileptic episodes. The number of epileptic seizures over the full moon was really lowest and the last quarter was the greatest. So the full moon does not trigger seizures. but epileptic seizures do somehow seem to be linked to lunar cycles the connection has to do with the amount of light at night rather than with the actual phase of moon scientists compared the frequency of seizures to the brightness of each night taking into account the phase of the moon and the amount of cloud cover they found that epileptic seizures were most likely to happen on darker nights an illusory correlation is a kind of a thinking error it happens when you draw the wrong conclusions because you haven't taken into account all the data just some of it for example if you visit paris and have two unpleasant encounters with grumpy parisians you might come away thinking parisians are rude 
in coming to that conclusion you would be overlooking many positive or neutral interactions you had and focusing only on the negative ones similarly people may have noticed a behavioral episode or a traumatic incident and chalked it up to the full moon because they have heard myths about an association between the two Because the moon's cycles are known to affect natural phenomena such as tides, some cultures have developed a persistent but mostly incorrect belief that lunar phases also influence human emotions, behaviors and health. Most people don't get aggressive, violent, worried or sad by a full moon. For present, though, it seems that this celestial body has less impact on your body than once believed.